Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. My name is Colin Fisher, and I'm the CEO of RLS Global. I have spent more than 20 years within the medical device sector, and my main career has been with Johnson & Johnson in many different clinical fields. I have also had the pleasure to spend years with Yetinge and Exivo Profusion. And for the last three years, I've been running our less with a very experienced team back in Gothenburg. As was mentioned in the introduction, RLS Global is an innovative medical device company and we are based in Gothenburg. Our company focuses on developing products utilizing our unique platform. Our patent platform is a buffered hypochlorite technology. Today, our core business is hard to heal wound, patients suffering of diabetic foot ulcers, pressure ulcers or venous leg ulcers. And today's presentation will focus on Chlorazol, which is our first product within this field. But I will also give you some insights about the global partnership we signed this summer with Convatec, one of the world leading companies within advanced wound care. We also have an exciting pipeline in place to further develop new technologies within other fields, such as burns, atopic dermatitis, and our products can also be used in the animal health sector. Oh, sorry, I forgot to move on the slides. Okay, here we go. The last five years, we have been very focused to build a strong foundation of the company. We have a very experienced team on board and everybody has medical device or pharma background. We've been very focused on building a strong data portfolio with preclinical and clinical publications. Chlorosol is CE approved as a class three device in Europe. And we have also got a regulatory approval in New Zealand and we have made our first footprint in the Middle East in Kuwait. And as we speak, we have a tight dialogue with FDA in regards of the US regulatory pathway. Uh, our business model is to build a um, global partnership uh, and as I mentioned before, we signed a partnership with Convatec this summer. And this is a major milestone for this company. It really gives us the ability to drive our footprint in Europe for the time being, but as a next step, the US and then the rest of the world. When I make my presentations, I always ask the audience if they have met anybody who's suffering of a heart to heal wound. And most of the time, the answer is no. This is a patient group that we do not talk a lot about. Patients suffering of diabetic foot ulcers or venous leg ulcers have a very limited quality of life. And this is due to the complexity of the disease. These nurses, they will see, a, uh, these patients, sorry, they will see a nurse once or twice every week for dressing changes. These wounds are related to odor, leakage, and many times heavy pain. Most of these wounds, they will last for years, and as you can tell, it's very hard to keep up with work or a healthy social life. If you're going to support an efficient healing process for these kind of wounds, you need to achieve two things. Number one, you must remove the devitalized tissue, the dead tissue. And number two, you must get control of the bacteria. And based on these facts, Chlorosol was developed. With our mechanism of action, Chlorosol softened the devitalized tissue, the necrotic tissue, so the nurse easily can remove it from the wound, and it has a very strong antimicrobial effect on bacteria and fungus. Number of these patients are treated at the hospital, at specialized clinics. However, most of these patients, they are treated within the primary care or in the home care sector. So during the product development process, it was important for RLS to develop a treatment that is fast and has a very short learning curve. Chlorosol is very easy to use, doesn't require a lot of training. 
it has a short application time, two to five minutes times two, and it's very gentle. It doesn't harm any healthy tissue. Together with Combatec, we are very focused on the go-to-market strat strategy for Europe. Annually in Europe, close to six million wounds are treated. Conservative numbers, but I would say approximately 50 to 60% of those wounds are in need of a debridement, where you need to remove the devitalized tissue and get control of the bacteria. So I would say, in average, about three million wounds are, uh, are, are a market potential for chlorosol in Europe. With our experience, in average, about six to ten applications are needed to achieve a clean wound. And each treatment is approximately 10 plus uh, US dollar. On the right hand side of the slide, you see the number for US. So as you can tell, hard to heal wound is a US billion global market opportunity. The estimated value for the debridement market is 1 billion US dollar, and these numbers are based on um, products sold. Standard of care within this field is sharp debridement. Sharp debridement is when the nurse uses a sharp instrument to remove the devitalized tissue, such as a scissor, a scapel, or something similar. This treatment will last for about 45 to 60 minutes per patient. Uh, it, it is most of the time connected to quite a lot of pain. And uh, these certified nurses who can conduct this procedure are mainly at the hospital. Within the primary care sector and in the home care sector, shop deprivement um, barely doesn't exist. So based on this, there is a very strong market driver and an ongoing shift from sharp debridement to more gentle method. And chlorosol fits very well into this segment. Chlorosol is based on our unique technical platform consisting of two component systems. Component number one is a gel containing a cocktail with amino acids. And the solution two is a a solution containing sodium hypochloride. These components are mixed in situ on the wound. It acts for two to five minutes, and then the nurse can start to remove the devitalized tissue. The procedure is conducted twice to get the best antimicrobial effect. One of our main competitor product in Europe is Prontosan. Prontosan is also a gel that you apply to the wound. We have made some in vivo study comparing the efficacy between Prontosan and Chlorosol. It's a model based on the two most common bacteria, Staphylococcus aureus, Pseudonoma agonosus, and the model lasts for 15 minutes. And the reason for 15 minutes is that Prontosan must be on the gel for 15 minutes before the nurse can start to remove the vitalized tissue. As you can tell, after two minutes in the chlorosol arm, there's basically no bacteria left. In the prontosan arm, after 50 minutes, there are still bacteria left in the wound. And remember what I said earlier in my presentation. If you want to support an efficient wound healing, there are two things that you must achieve. Number one, remove the vitalis tissue, and number two, get control of the bacteria. Chlorosol is well documented. Our latest clinical study was published in June this year in Journal of Wound Care. And we are actually very proud that Journal of Wound Care accepted our study, our data, as this is one of the most recognized scientific paper within our clinical field. So, <clears throat> our LS business model, which has been communicated for some years, is to establish regional slash global partnership for current and future products. RLS is a research and product development driven uh, company, and we do not have the infrastructure in place for global uh, com commercialization footprint. Last year, we initiated a dialogue with several of the global players within advanced wound care, and it came to our notice that Convatec would actually be a great fit for RLS and our chlorosol. 
And the reason is that Convatex has a very well established hygiene concept in place with, based on Aquacel. Aquacel is a dressing, one of the biggest uh, brand within the dressing field. There was a gap in the portfolio when it comes to the bridement, and Comatec was out seeking for an efficient technology to fit into their uh, hygiene concept. And it was um, declared by Comatec at the early stage that they have ambition to make investment when it comes to the go-to-market and reimbursement strategy. The annual turnover for Convatec is approximately 2 billion US dollars, and the advanced wound care uh, portfolio represents about 30% uh, of, of the total sales. Of course, Convatec did a quite heavy due diligence on RLS as well, and they developed their own data based on our chlorosol, and it was understood that chlorosol and Aquacel can provide a strong solution-driven approach to our customers. We have signed a 10-year exclusivity agreement for Europe. When Chlorosol is approved for America, uh, Convatec will also take the lead for that market. Um, uh, Chlorosol, which is important, will be integrated in the hygiene concept and it will be carried out by the entire sales force. It's not a small group of sales representatives who will carry out our product. It's part of the total solution as of now for uh, Convatec. I believe Chlorosol is integrated into one of the strongest portfolio within advanced wound care today. Today, we have together a vision that Chlorosol and Aquacel will be a standard treatment for patients suffering of uh, hard to heal wounds. At signing, we received 1.5 million US dollar, and, and we have another 2.5 million US dollar connected to uh, identified uh, or different milestones for the US market. Comatec by Chlorosol to a fixed price. And in average, we will receive about 50% royalty on net sales. I believe that we have signed a true partnership with Chloras, uh, sorry, with Convatec, with, uh, with the clear roles and responsibilities. As of end of the year, uh, Convatec will take the lead for the Nordic market and the Netherlands, uh, markets where we, have, we will by then have reimbursement in place. Uh, in parallel, they will initiate um, sales activities in Germany, France, uh, and UK. The three main markets in Europe, representative about 35% of the market potential in Europe. And they are now investing money on reimbursement study to secure a long-term sustainable reimbursement for Chlorosol. I want to end my presentation by sharing some quotes from our customers. It is determined that Chlorosol is very easy to use and clean the wound efficient, and it's saved. We have a lot of data uh, sh showing that Chlorosol does not harm the healthy tissue, which is key for supporting uh, the wound healing. Chlorosol makes the debridement procedure faster, and it's very efficient on bacteria and fungus, and it is used in all patient channels, at the hospital, in the primary care sector, and in the home care sector. 50 minutes goes fast. If you want to learn more about RSLS and our future, you're more than welcome to reach out to me and we can schedule individual meetings. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, Karin. Um, I've read about you, obviously, to prepare, and I, I know that you have recently approved, uh, got an approval in New Zealand yeah. to use, to use this, this uh, technique, Chlorosol. Um, how about other markets? Um, yeah. What will you be approaching next? So, uh, what I as I mentioned in my presentation, US is the big market, mm -hmm. and we have a tight dialogue with FDA right now in regards on the future regulatory pathway. Uh, some might think this is taking a little bit of time, but it's very important when you set the plan for a regulatory approval that you make this in a, 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 in a very thorough way to secure that the outcome is what you're expecting when the product is approved. Mm -hmm. And of course, the FDA is key. 
it's key. In this that's process. that's the big mm. market mm. for sure. Mm. Absolutely. Even uh, though you can tell that there's a huge mm. potential mm. even in Europe. Mm -hmm. In terms of other, I mean, this is a huge product that they're, they're developing. Do you have any other things coming after this? Yeah. So there are a huge potential to develop uh, new products based on our platform. As I mentioned before, burns is one area mm. we're looking into, as well as atopic dermatitis. When it comes to burns, uh, we did a pre-study with Lin Chepin's University this spring, and now we are uh, looking into how to design the very first clinical study uh, within um, the burn segment. Mm. Well, thank you very much. Um, sepsis is one of the largest, most killing conditions in the world. C kills more people than, than the most um, common cancers. And we know that if heals, wounds go untreated, there is a big risk that sepsis occurs. Yeah, and of mm. course, mm. amputation. Mm. Mm. Uh, that's probably the first mm. step before you reach mm. sepsis, you know? Mm. So for sure, uh, as I mentioned, um, it's very important in an early stage, mm. get control of the bacteria, mm. uh, also the fungus when it comes to hard to heal wound, which is, very, which is very common. Otherwise, it's difficult to get controlled and support an efficient mm. uh, healing process. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your important work and for your presentation. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you, Karin. Yep.